Hello everyone, Mahboob here from Muscle House Gym. In today's video, we'll be looking at what makes an unhealthy relationship. I'll be going over a few red flags to be mindful of. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, the first one, you don't spend enough time with each other. You lack intimacy, there's bad mannerisms, and also you say hurtful and negative things. Now, let's begin with the first one is you don't spend enough time with each other. What, what does that mean? What does enough time mean? Enough time means, that doesn't mean you're allocated to an hour, a certain part of the day. No, it's just moments. You don't have moments. I'll give you an example, a specific example, and that is this. When you're eating in the same table or on the same couch, you don't have positive conversations. It's always negative. You don't make time for each other to just have those little, little intimate moments, whether it be just sitting together, watching something, holding, holding hands, cuddles, kisses throughout the day that just take, what, 10 seconds? You know, you try to avoid physical contact as much as possible because intimacy is lacking. You are disrespectful and dishonest towards each other. And intimacy, as soon as it comes down to intimacy, there is none, or you try to avoid it. And then you've got bad mannerisms. It's the way you react, the way you respond with each other. These are all red flags to show that your relationship is unhealthy. But it doesn't mean to say the relationship has to end. No. These are just signals that something needs to be adjusted, something needs to be tweaked. Usually there's always an underlining issue, a deeper issue than just what's on the surface. And that's up to you to investigate. Also, you're never going to solve these sort of things unless both spouses come together and try to work it out, try to look for a way of communicating more effectively. If one style of communication doesn't work, you need to try another, try another, until you come to a realization, both come to realization and understand and sympathize and emphasize, empathize with each other that you want the relationship to work, you still want to re remain committed to making this relationship work. That has to be a mutual understanding if the understanding is not there then the relationship can go either way sometimes it could be a case where one spouse is lacking something and the way they're going about it is very suspicious i'll give you an example they're either having an affair or they're just showing disinterest or, or they're trying to exit the relationship why because they don't know how to deal with it why because it hasn't been resolved and if it's just brushed underneath the carpet the situation is only going to get worse and worse I'll tell you what, there's always a way of figuring things out. There's always a, a, an effective way of communicating. There's always a way out. There's always a way of making things work. And a relationship is about relating together, communicating together, looking for a way of communicating more effectively. It's about growth. It's about learning. Because at the end of the day, as time goes on, both of you are evolving. You're not the same person that you was yesterday. The only difference is, your habits remain the same, your reactions, your responses, until you change them. So don't get confused with habits and reactions for the same person, because the person is all about experiences, um, understandings, um, their, uh, what, what they do in life. That's always evolving, that's always changing. Your interactions with people each and every day could be different, conversations could be different, or your actions could be different each and every day. But your reactions, that this specific thing can remain the same for many, many years until you actually decide to change it for a, something better, a, a better response, a better uh, reaction. So this is what needs to be worked on. It's more to do with reactions than anything. And those things are very crucial if you want to see your relationship develop. It doesn't matter if there's red flags. Yeah, I'll tell you why. As long as you are, both spouses are committed in the relationship to make it work, then there's a chance of the relationship thriving and, and uh, surviving. But if it's just red flag after red flag after red flag, and there's loads of abuse in terms of mental, physical, psychological, and spiritual on all levels, then maybe you should consider if the relationship is right for you or if it can be worked out. And those are the sort of things that you want to um, try to sort out. Even if it means to bring an outsider who you trust, who doesn't make the situation worse, who is not biased, and who's just taking a middle ground view on both sides. And that's some, someone that who both of you 
can trust or get a coach involved or get some advice or some ideas concept suggestions through youtube you'll you'll be surprised what what you learn so there, there there is a number of ways where you can get answers to your problems there's always an answer to your problem but it's whether you actually want to make that effort and do the uh work that is required and it shouldn't just be on one spouse both needs to do the work in life you always need to do the work to make something work that's a given whether it be in business academia on all levels everything requires work if you want it to thrive so people i just thought i might bring a few things to your attention about the red flags a red flag doesn't necessarily mean it's over it's just warnings that you need to do something to change the situation it doesn't mean to say that you quit it's just a warning all right folks i'll leave it there for now um until then take care stay strong stay focused and i will see you on the next video bye for now